Hello guys, welcome to SS Multimedia. This is Arjun Kokomna and today our topic is problem solving, draw a picture and write an equation. So, today we will be using pictures, models, arrays, graphs, whatever you want to call it, to divide or multiply. So our objective today is understanding how to use a picture to write an equation. And then we're going to be using that, that equation, to find the answer. So, our main part of the objective is use a picture to write an equation and using that to find the answer. So that's our objective. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, let's do a question. I'm going to start off with a question. So here we have at a party, Steve gets $4 for every song he plays on his guitar. He received a total of $36. How many songs did Steve play? So here we're trying to figure out how many songs did Steve play. That's our main question. So let's go ahead and highlight that. There we go. How many songs did Steve play? So I'm assuming you highlighted two because this is really important. You don't have to have it written down. You can just look at mine and then try to work on it. So then what we are going to do is we're going to figure out what he, how many songs he played. But first we need to find our main bits. So which is Steve gets $4 for every song. So that's important. We, we're going to need that. Four dollars for every song. And then he received a total of 36. So those two are some important things we need to know. So first off, because we know that he received $36, let's just draw $36. So I'm just gonna say this is a dollar note. So we're gonna draw 36 of this. So one, two, 12, 20, we have 24, I'm just going to draw it here now, the rest of them, so 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So here, each of these is a dollar. So I'm just going to count just in case I wrote, like, I don't have a exact number of blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So yes, I have the right amount. So now, we know that he got $4 for every song he played. So we're going to divide these into sets of four each. So I'm going to use like different colors to represent that. The first one is going to be green. So I'm going to do this one two three four that's our that's our first one and then then and then we're gonna i'm gonna use blue one two three four then i'll use yellow one two three four and then i'm gonna use purple one two three four and then I'll use orange. One, two, three, four. Then I'll use white. One, two, three, four. Then I'll now I'll use pink. One, two, three, four. Now I'll use brown. One, two, three, four. 
Next, I'll use gray. So one, two, three, four. So here we have all our colors. So what we'll do now is we'll be looking for four. Well, yeah, we'll be looking for how many sets we have. So each color, is, let's say each color is one set. So let's count. So I'm going to use white to count. So first we have green, so that's one. Then we have blue, that's two. Then we have yellow, that's three. Then we have purple, that's four. Then we have orange, that's five. Then we have white, that's six. Then we have pink, that is seven. Then we have brown, that is eight. And then we have gray, which is nine. So in total, we have used nine different colors. So what does that mean? Well, that means Steve played nine songs. So obviously using colors is just one way of doing it. You can just maybe like circle it or something. You can circle a whole set and do something like that. Do whatever fits you best. I like using colors because I it helps me visualize. So here our answer is going to be nine. Steve played nine songs nine songs there we go at the party that's our answer okay guys now we have reached problem time so i want you guys to pause the video and try this problem out yourself good luck okay assuming you tried it out i'm gonna show you what to do and how to do it so first off we're gonna read the question hope peter and barry each have one and a half dollar they want to buy a bag of chips that is four dollars do they have enough money so hope peter and barry each have each have one dollar one and a half dollar so that means three people have one and a half dollar so three people that's important three people and one and a half dollar and then a bag of chips costs four dollars so we're gonna write that down too four dollars do they have enough money so all we're doing simply is this is obviously a multiplication problem if you haven't understood that yet why because well we're trying to figure out if they have enough money so we're trying to we're basically just adding one and a half dollar three times so we're just one and a half dollar plus one and a half dollar plus one and a half dollar that's what we're trying to do so all you need to do here is just you need, just need to multiply one and a half dollar by three. So we're not going to multiply, but we're just going to use a model, picture, graph, array, whatever you're going to call it, to do that. So we have one and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as one, and then this as a half. Okay. So we're going to do that. So let's do that. So we have $1 and we have a half. So I'm going to say that is hope. And then Peter, I'm going to use green for Peter. So Peter has one and a half too. So a half and then a dollar. So now I'm going to do berry. So berry, I'm going to use purple. So obviously we have a, a half and then we have a full dollar. So right now, all we're going to do is we're simply just going to count. 
how many dollars we have. So I'm going to use grade to count. So here we have one full dollar. And then now we have two halves. Two halves equal one whole. So this is one half. This is one half. So in total, this is a one dollar too. And this is one dollar. So like so far we have three dollars. Now we have half a dollar. So that'll be one half. And then so so far we have three and a half dollars. Now we have one more. So this is also one dollar, one full dollar. So I'm just gonna add those up. So we have one dollar plus one dollar, two dollars, and then we have another dollar, three dollars, and then we have another one, so four dollars, and then we have a half. That means together, Hope, Peter, and Barry have four and a half dollars. Now the bag of chips costs four dollars. So do they have enough money? Yes, why? Because four and a half is more than four. So we're just going to write that down. Yes, they have, sorry about that, they have enough money. So this is how you use models to multiply and divide. So did you get it right? Well, if you did, great job. If you didn't, it's okay. Just keep practicing. And at some point, you will perfect these kind of problems and this technique, technique method of using arrays, boxes, models, pictures, whatever you want to call it. If this video helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And hit the notification bell for more updates on our videos.